Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered about the colossal forces that shaped the universe? Today, we're about to embark on a cosmic odyssey like no other. Welcome to another electrifying episode of the Sunday Discovery series, where we delve into the astonishing revelations brought to us by the James Webb Space Telescope. In the inky depths of space, hidden at the edge of time, a remarkable discovery awaits us. Imagine stars so immense, so mind-bogglingly colossal, that they could make our most massive celestial neighbors seem like mere fireflies in the night. These are the universe's earliest supermassive stars, and their existence defies the boundaries of our imagination. As we journey through the cosmos in pursuit of these titanic cosmic giants, we'll unlock the secrets of the universe's infancy. We'll peer back in time, closer to the very moment of creation, and stand in awe of the forces that have shaped the cosmos as we know it. So fasten your seatbelts and join us on this mesmerizing expedition. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share to be part of our cosmic community. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered the secrets of Irondale, the most distant star ever discovered in the universe, situated at the farthest reaches of time. Irondale is incredibly distant, with its light traveling for 13 billion years to reach us due to a fortunate alignment in our line of sight. However, it's important to note that, taking into account the expansion of the universe, the actual distance to this star is approximately 28 billion light years. Additionally, if the Big Bang theory is correct, this implies that we are observing a star that existed within the first billion years of the universe, possibly belonging to the elusive first generation of stars that astronomers have sought for many years. Unfortunately, Irondale's extreme distance makes it impossible to study its properties in detail using Earth-based telescopes or even the Hubble Space Telescope. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope becomes crucial in unraveling the mysteries surrounding this distant celestial object. So how did astronomers come across Irondale? A solitary star situated so remarkably distant in the vast cosmos. What sets it apart from the stars we typically study within our local universe? Perhaps most intriguingly, what elements of the James Webb Space Telescope's observations left astronomers astounded? Up to this point, the tiniest entities observed at such cosmic distances were star clusters, typically found within distant galaxies. However, Irondale stands apart. It represents the very first individual star glimpsed within the initial billion years of the universe's existence. The discovery of Irondale was serendipitous, initially spotted by astronomers through the Hubble Space Telescope, which initially captured the parent galaxy of this star. This galaxy's appearance was significantly altered due to gravitational lensing induced by a massive foreground cluster. These massive astronomical entities, like galaxy clusters, warp the fabric of space-time in their vicinity, leading to remarkable visual distortions that enabled astronomers to uncover this exceptional celestial phenomenon. Due to this optical distortion, the light emanating from celestial bodies located in the foreground becomes subject to bending. As it traverses the gravitational influence of these massive objects, occasionally, under the precise alignment of circumstances, this bending phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, can create the illusion of far-off stars appearing significantly brighter than their actual luminosity. As a result of this gravitational lensing effect, the galaxy housing Irondale took on an intriguing contorted form, aptly dubbed the Sunrise Arc by scientists. Within this bent structure, astronomers discerned an exceptionally luminous presence. Typically, such intense sources of light in distant galaxies are associated with energetic occurrences like novas, supernovas, or tidal disruptions induced by the gravitational pull of black holes. These transient events exhibit fluctuations in brightness over time, making them stand out amidst the cosmic backdrop. Nonetheless, Hubble's observations revealed a remarkable stability in the luminosity of this object persisting without significant change for over three and a half years. Astronomers also ascertained that the object's brightness was enhanced by a staggering factor of at least 4,000, indicating its exceedingly diminutive size. Consequently, their consensus pointed towards the object being a gravitationally lensed brilliant star within the sunrise arc. However, 
Due to the inherent limitations of the Hubble Space Telescope, crucial details about this distant star remained elusive. Therefore, scientists turned to the James Webb Space Telescope to delve deeper into their understanding of Irondale. Here's what they uncovered about this celestial entity. In the observations conducted by the James Webb Space Telescope, there are three noteworthy aspects to consider. The first pertains to the star's redshift, a critical parameter that aids us in comprehending the vast distances of objects within the depths of space. We employ a numerical value known as Z to denote redshift. When Z registers as zero, it signifies the present moment. However, as Z increases, it signifies objects receding further back in time and greater distances from us. The latest Webb Telescope findings disclose that Irondale exhibits a redshift of 6.2. This redshift value aligns seamlessly with the measurements made by the Hubble Space Telescope in early 2022, affirming Irondale's status as the star with the most remarkable redshift ever observed. To put this into perspective, the previous record holder for the most distant star detected by Hubble was observed roughly 4 billion years after the occurrence of the Big Bang. Another crucial revelation unveiled by the Webb Telescope is Irondale's volumetric magnitude, which quantifies the amount of energy it emits across the entire spectrum of light. The data collected by the Webb Telescope effectively rules out the possibility of Irondale being a low-mass star, a brown dwarf, or even a free-floating exoplanet that underwent gravitational lensing. Instead, it indicates that Irondale is a B-type star with a surface temperature ranging from 13,000 to 16,000 Kelvin. In the realm of astrophysics, stars are categorized into seven primary groups based on their temperature, represented by the mnemonic O oh, be a fine girl, kiss me, corresponding to O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. However, the challenge arises when we compute Irondale's total luminosity, which astonishingly falls within the range of 600,000 to 1 million times brighter than our own sun. This revelation implies that if Irondale is a single star that has undergone evolution, it must possess a mass roughly 40 times greater than that of our sun. However, an alternative scenario emerges to account for the prodigious luminosity observed. It could emanate from a binary star system, each star being approximately 30 times more massive than the sun, or even from a quintet of stars, each with a mass of around 20 times that of the sun, provided they maintained a surface temperature of roughly 15,000 Kelvin. In their research paper, scientists point out that the single star hypothesis is just one of several plausible explanations capable of elucidating the spectral energy distribution plots. It's worth noting that massive stars in our local universe frequently have companions, often more than one, while primary companions typically orbit within two astronomical units of the star. Tertiary companions can be found at distances of up to 20 astronomical units. This signifies that even if Irondale possesses companion stars, the James Webb Telescope lacks the necessary resolution power to discern them. However, in this subsequent round of observations, primarily reliant on the spectral colors of Irondale, a noteworthy discovery emerges. It indeed harbors a cooler, redder companion star. This companion's light has undergone substantial stretching due to the universe's expansion, resulting in wavelengths longer than what Hubble's instruments can detect. Thus, it was only detectable with the Webb telescope. The revelation of a companion star serves a dual purpose, shedding light on another astronomical puzzle while affirming the accuracy of our comprehension of stellar astrophysics. This is because if Irondale possessed a luminosity exceeding one million times that of the Sun, it would have surpassed the Humphreys-Davidson HD limit. The HD limit represents an empirically determined luminosity threshold, beyond which no stars have been observed, at least within the confines of our local universe. Webb's latest near-cam observation also unveils a series of captivating phenomena within the Sunrise Arc. Among them, it identifies the most intensely magnified galaxy ever detected in the universe's initial billion years, offering insights into various remarkable features. These features encompass youthful regions where stars are presently birthing, and the presence of more mature star clusters, some measuring as compact as 10 light years in diameter, flanking the region where magnification reaches its zenith, which notably traverses through Irondale. These features align with the gravitational lensing distorting the path of light. 
The elongated appearance of the star-forming region suggests an age of less than 5 million years. While smaller points on either side of Irondale and two images of a more aged star cluster, likely around 10 million years old, further enhance our understanding of this captivating cosmic tapestry. Astronomers have ascertained that this star cluster is gravitationally bound and likely to endure to the present day. This provides us with a glimpse of how the globular clusters within our own Milky Way might have appeared when they initially formed approximately 13 billion years ago. The discovery of Irondale holds profound significance as it could mark the first instance of us identifying a Population 3 star, a quest that has engaged astronomers for many years. These Population 3 stars hail from the very dawn of the universe when the initial primordial nucleosynthesis yielded just two fundamental chemical elements, hydrogen and helium. These early stars, known as Population 3 stars, possessed minimal amounts of other elements which astronomers refer to as metals. The majority of these Population 3 stars are believed to have already reached the end of their stellar life cycles, while the few that remain are exceedingly faint, rendering them exceptionally challenging to detect naturally. Most of the candidates have been located within galaxies influenced by gravitational lensing, underscoring the elusive nature of these celestial relics. Astronomers anticipate that Irondale will maintain its high level of magnification for years to come. Consequently, forthcoming observations of this remote star by the James Webb Space Telescope hold the potential to unveil its precise characteristics. The quest for the first stars and galaxies has long been a revered pursuit in astronomy, akin to the search for the Holy Grail. The revelation of the initial generation of stars promises to deepen our comprehension of star formation and validate the predictions set forth by the Big Bang model. Furthermore, it may provide insights into resolving the enigmatic JWST early galaxy problem, which inquires why Webb is detecting such massively developed galaxies in the infancy of the universe. Moreover, the pursuit of these primordial stars serves as an exploration of our origins, echoing the sentiments of the renowned physicist Richard Feynman. He aptly noted, that the most astounding revelation in all of astronomy lies in the fact that the stars are composed of the same elemental building blocks as those found on Earth. That wraps up another captivating episode of the Sunday Discovery series. In our recent exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope unveiled tantalizing indications of the earliest supermassive stars at the very brink of time itself. These colossal celestial giants could potentially overshadow the grandeur of the largest stars we've ever observed. If you happen to miss this episode, make sure to catch up and delve into the thrilling revelations of this remarkable discovery. Stay tuned for more awe-inspiring journeys into the cosmos.